Stacey Bujang, Chief from Great Martial Arts, and I'm connecting with you for three reasons. Number one, how are you? How are you and your family doing? Are you doing okay? Especially if you haven't been in class doing private lessons lately and we haven't had a chance to connect and see you, you know, please reach out and let us know how you're doing, okay? Number two, um, I'd like to share the success cycle with you. And the reason I'm doing it is because right now it can be a time where we can, all of us can easily get stuck and frozen, etc., and, and have troubles moving forward. But, you know, success of any kind is, um, it's really not luck or haphazard. It really is just a system. And um, we did not create this, and it's um, over 100 years of research study that went into success cycle. And this is a summary of the success that we teach to our, our kids here at, at Greenway. So, <clears throat> number one, you gotta have a goal, you gotta know what you want. You gotta choose a goal and know what you want. And number two, decide that you will do or have it. And I think you can relate back to when you started great martial arts that you had to. Number one, know that you wanted to learn martial arts, or more specifically Wing Chun. And number two, that you had to decide that you were gonna you were gonna do it, right? You were gonna call, you were gonna come in for a lesson, you were gonna start classes, but you had to make a decision that you were gonna do it. You didn't know maybe you didn't know how you were gonna do it, you didn't know how it worked, you didn't know a lot about how anything worked. And if it was your first time in martial arts school at all, you definitely had no idea, it would probably seem very foreign to you. It didn't really matter that you didn't know how, but you made the decision anyway and you did it, and the how came later, you figured it out later. <clears throat> Number three, decide what you're willing to do or sacrifice. And I'm sure you can remember the sacrifice that you made, which was whatever you were doing before on the nights you started coming to class, you sacrificed whatever you were doing before to start coming to class, learning Wing Chun, and then maybe even time at home with practicing, reviewing, etc. But there was some sort of sacrifice you had to make. You had to do something different. Your habits had to change there. Number four, get a mentor or success coach who has done it before. And of course you have, that's us. Um, number five, have a plan and follow it. So we have a plan, of course, when it comes to grading and going from one level to the next level, we have a plan. And as long as we follow that plan, you will definitely get there. Um, when you get there, that depends on you, amount of class, time put in, training, etc. But there is a plan there, you just have to follow the plan. Now, if you decide that you want to learn something other than, or as well as, you know, uh, your next level curriculum, etc., which I'll get into in a minute, then a new plan has to uh, has to form. Number six, review and renew your goal and plan. I'm sure some of you can relate to this because maybe you thought you were gonna be, you know, level three or level six or seven, etc. Maybe it was last fall, September, December. Um, maybe you were thinking, well, maybe, okay, maybe this March. And of course, with physical distancing training, it's becoming more and more difficult for us to prepare people for these gradings, right? So you've kind of had to renew and renew, not so much your goal, maybe your goal stay the same. I still want to be level six, level seven, etc. cetera, but um, in the time frame that I thought it was going to be, the plan has to change or alter. Um, <clears throat> and uh, number seven, you got to celebrate and then repeat. You want to repeat right away because you don't want to slip into bad habits or old habits. You want to repeat that right away, get onto a new goal and stretch yourself even further, keep on improving. The celebrating part is really important because every time we celebrate, we're focusing on what we did, what we achieved, and how we did it. So that when times are tough, and maybe when we didn't succeed at something, we failed at something, etc. Instead of focusing on what we didn't do, what we failed at, we can look back and remember and focus on what we did do, what we did succeed at, which will help us propel us into our next success. Okay, And I just want to say really quickly that um, I know this plan really, really well because... Um, when I moved here, my wife and I had moved here um, back in 93, moved back to the Okanagan, opened up a school. Um, it was for me, like, it was the ultimate physical distancing training because I had no one to train with. So physical distancing, Kelowna to Calgary, um, that's, quite a, that's quite a gap, right? And I had to do a lot of the training all by myself, on my own, and prepare myself for the three highest levels, level 8, 9, and 10. Uh, when I went back to Calgary every time to grade. So I prepared on my own physically distancing, right? There was no one to train with, no one to practice with. So I know how that feels, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. So um, that brings me to number three. We would like to see you training, right? We want to make sure you're getting the most out of your great way experience here. Whether you're in class, doing private lessons, uh, maybe you haven't returned yet, etc. We want you to get whatever it is you want to get out of your training, and, and not necessarily Wing Chun or your next Wing Chun level, but whatever it is you want to 
grow at, succeed at here at Great Way. So maybe you didn't realize there's more options for you for learning, especially right now through physical distancing learning. Whether you want to learn the next section of the form that you've been working on, maybe it's you want to just review. Maybe you want to learn more of the Dragonfold form applications or the Butterfly Sword form. Uh, maybe you want to move into other weapons such as Nunchuck. We teach Kali. We teach um, you know broadsword from the Hungar Tiger Crane system and dumb broadsword. We also teach empty hand forms from the Hungar system. There's lots of other things to you to learn and continue growing as a martial artist here. Remember that um, you are a martial artist, right? I've been doing you know, Wing Chun now for over 30 years, Kung Fu for over four years, and working and developing, uh, studying human potential for 15 to 20 years. And what I have learned is that as a martial artist, um, we look at things a little differently, but first you have to accept that you, you are a martial artist, just like me, right? You are a martial artist. The day you set foot in here and started learning from your first lesson, you became a martial artist. And as a martial artist, um, we're always trying to improve and get better at, at probably multiple different parts of your life, not just one area. But we're always striving to improve. And when faced with challenges, we strive to overcome them by kind of chunking them or taking them off in bite-sized pieces like you would another, your next belt test, your next level, your next level test, right? so that you don't overwhelm yourself, right? You know, when you first came in here, we're thinking, okay, well, I'm, I'm level one now, so I'm gonna focus on level 10. You completely overwhelm yourself with what you had to learn to become a level 10. No, just focus on what's next. What's the next level? Um, and what's the next strike? What's the next material of my strike? So everything was teaching you how to goal set, right? How to accomplish this system and how to chunk things in bite-sized pieces so you don't overwhelm yourself and get stuck and get frozen, right? We also, as martial artists, try to stay centered all the time and keep our forward intention, right? Keep moving forward, keep growing, keep looking for opportunities to set goals, achieve goals, so that um, we don't get frozen and stagnant, right? Because in the law of the universe, whatever is not growing is dying, right? So we have much more to share here with you a great way. And, you know, honestly, life is more fun with goals. So set, set some new goals if you, don't ha if you haven't already. And if you're not sure how about it, we can help you with it. We can help you set goals. We can help you with limiting beliefs because maybe you don't think you can achieve those goals, right? We can help you with, um, you know, a new stretching routine, new physical fitness routine. There's so many things we can help you with that maybe you didn't, you didn't, it didn't come to mind because maybe you're just stuck because I'm not learning what I need for my next grading right now. There's so much more you could be doing with us here at Great Wing that we can help you with. So I want to thank you for listening. And please stay safe, be well. Let's connect soon, okay?